Today's my day off and I'm taking you guys fishing. So let's get after it. So I'm seeing some good surface action. It's probably around 11 o'clock, not super early in the morning. Right around in there, I'm seeing a few mouths come up. I'm not seeing backs, I'm seeing mouths come up. So we're gonna start our day off the little Griffith snat and uh, see if we can put a few fish in the net. Call that a Bluetooth release hands-free release so I'm putting an indicator on because it seems like right when you show up they stop rising let's see if we can't get one of these guys to eat oh, that's a nice one Come on, buddy. Whoa. Oh, boy. Hopefully you guys can see that. There's a tiny little bug right in his mouth. So I'm just kind of sitting on the bank right now. It got really windy after I caught that fish, but uh, we're pretty much in full spring or maybe late spring, but at the time that I'm filming this video. So that's just been the matter of uh, the weather these these past few weeks. I wanted to touch on that fish a little bit. Um, so I didn't see that indicator move at all. Uh, I didn't see the indicator move. My eyes were peeled on the fish and I was watching what the fish was doing and I knew where my flies were in relation to my indicator. So I could see that fish when my flies in my head started getting close to that fish i looked for his mouth and i looked to see what he's doing and if he turns towards my flies opens his mouth then if i wait a little bit longer i'll see that indicator go down but that gives the fish an opportunity to spit those flies out so in this super uh slow i call this uh oxygen deprived type water the eats are going to be really subtle so you really want to pay attention um not necessarily to your indicator started to go further on that i think the more experience you get with uh, fishing tailwaters and um, you know just with small bugs in general the more you'll learn that it's less of a indicator and more of a suspension device you'll learn to pay attention to the fish's mouth and see seeing what they're doing and see if, if they're looking at your bugs rather than uh, you know waiting and relying on that indicator to shoot down so i think we may just spend a lot of time back here today i'm filming pretty close to the weekend so i didn't even bother filming the parking lot because it's so full but um yeah we'll just stay back here and uh keep putting some fish in the net have some fun So that's gonna do it. Uh, I gotta go home, gotta go tie some tie some flies up for tomorrow's trip. But uh, as always, thank you guys for tuning in and watching and uh, see you guys in the next one.